Hey, what's up guys? How you do? Today we're gonna be doing hair. I know, it's gonna be fun. You guys have been waiting for it for like a month already. I'm sorry it's taken so long for me to get stuff for my mic. To be fair, that's not really my fault because, you know, a certain global pandemic has kind of slowed down the shipping times for everything and I gotta really, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not the best mic you can get, but it's pretty good, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out in the video, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna stop wasting your time. We are going to do hair, and I'm gonna show you every single step you need to do the version that I do, specifically the drag and drop version. I'm not gonna show you how to do the X2M version because sometimes that doesn't work for whatever reason, and I don't know how to fix that. So, let's get into it. So all you gotta do here is you gotta go to xenoverse2mods. whatever, videogamemods.com, same difference. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in like whatever race you have, human, female, Saiyan, male, whatever, doesn't matter, hair, and then whatever race. So, Sif is Saiyan female, and you're just gonna find like literally whatever hairstyle you want. Uh, let us do, those are eyes, eyes, by the way, by the way, while we're on the topic of hair, eyes install exactly the same way you just have to find the id for them and whatever i'll show you guys that all later anyways so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just snag what like it, it really doesn't matter you guys can just grab whichever it has to be at like a hair mod specifically so you can use wigs too by the way you can also use wigs it doesn't have to be hairstyles you can also use wigs it'll work just fine so you're just gonna hit download it's gonna show up in your in your downloads it should be like I just installed this mod here, whatever. You just grab it, move it to your desktop, whatnot. You know the deal already. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to move to your Xenoverse 2 directory, data, character, and then whichever race you use. I use the Saiyan female. So for Saiyans and humans, they both use the human folder. So Saiyan male uses the hum folder. Saiyan female uses the huff folder. You don't use these two for modding hair, you use them for movesets, like I have a custom moveset in here. That's all this folder's for, you don't use it for hair, I don't think you have to use it for hair at least. What you do with the hair is, this is the one that I have pre-ready to go, you just extract it, like usual, extract here, should work just fine. So I didn't have these inside another file, so they just kind of show up here. You can get rid of that, you don't need that anymore. These three files are the only ones you need. It, it'll be three or four files, sometimes even two, I don't know, it depends what mood the developer, or the, it depends what mood the modder was in, I guess. And so what you can do here with these, is whichever hairstyle in the game, oh, whatever, give me a second, let me just show you. So what you can do is just any hairstyle you want to put in here, you just have to find the ID for it, and basically just replace that ID specifically. The one that I'm going to use for this example is Type 8. So we're going to be replacing this one right here. I already put it in. As you can see, I already put this in here. This is a custom hairstyle, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyways. It should look like the hairstyle just on the character and custom and super cool looking in my opinion. So to do that, all you have to do is just rename this number to the corresponding ID of the hair type you want to replace. So that hairstyle that you just saw was hairstyle 8. So the ID for 8 is seven. Yeah, in case you're wondering why it's like that, it's because one is zero, zero, zero. And the reason it's like that is because zero, zero, zero is the very first sequence of numbers, of positive numbers, you can possibly create. So the game is going to read zero, zero, zero as type one, and zero, zero, one as type two, and so on and so forth. So 35, like hairstyle 35, is going to be zero, 034. Just to give you guys a heads up, that's where it gets confusing. So type 8 is 007, that's the one that we're going to be replacing here. I tested it before I recorded the video just to make sure it works, because if you have the drag and drop version, all you have to do is rename this file with the corresponding, uh, the corresponding hairstyle type, and you drop it into the file for your race slash gender of character. Human female goes in the huff folder, Saiyan female also goes in the huff folder, just keep that in mind, Saiyan female and human female use the same hairstyle, and that goes the same with Saiyan and human males, is they both use the hum folder instead of 
the SIM folder and the HUM folder being separate. The only things you ever use these two folders here, the only things you ever use those for is movesets. And we can get into that in a future video. That's actually a very good idea, but that's gonna be in another video. So click, highlight, drag, drop. I already have it installed, so it gives me this option. If you guys get this option, which you shouldn't if this is the first time you're doing it. But if you guys get this option, it's the second time you're doing it. Whichever hairstyle you have saved under, this is number seven, so it's gonna be slot eight. Whichever one you have under slot X or whatever, that one's gonna be replaced, and you're gonna have to find those files again and move it to a different slot. Just a heads up. So yes, replace, doesn't matter. It's gonna look exactly the same, and you're gonna see that it shows up right here. There's four for it here for me because I had a different one installed that had four files. So don't worry about that. It shouldn't really affect how it works for you guys. Just to make sure, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna delete the DYT because that's the only file that you guys won't have if you install one with only three files, of course. So then what I'm gonna do real quick is just load into Xenoverse here and check to make sure that hairstyle still shows up. It should, if it doesn't, something's wrong and I'm gonna scrap this recording. Um, yeah, but we're just gonna real quick do a little checkerooski. It still shows up, so it's still here and installed correctly. You just need whatever files are included with the package, I guess, that you get for installing hair. I don't know. Whatever the hair comes in, <laughs> it's all you need. Just whatever, whatever files are included. Sometimes it'll be two, I think, three, four. It shouldn't ever be five, because that would be Super Saiyan 3 hair. But yeah, so, oh yeah, so that is another thing that we can go into here. Uh, installing custom hair works with transformations as well. So if you wanted this to be your Super Saiyan 2 hair, because that it would look pretty good for Super Saiyan 2, all you'd have to do, if we go back to the IDs here, is name this 298, because that is the ID for Lazy Bones Super Saiyan 2, and just the basic Super Saiyan 2 within the game. But if you if you use the, just do note that if you use the original Super Saiyan skill, then this isn't gonna do anything, and it's just gonna do the original hairstyle or whatever. It's gonna be confusing, and it's not gonna work properly. So you have to use Lazy Bones mod if you're doing transformation hairstyles changing otherwise it won't work also something to note just after the fact you have to relaunch the x2m here uh, just reinstall like i said just pick whichever settings you wanted and then you have to switch this back to hair change you can choose hair and eye change but there's no real difference here but you have to switch this back to hair change otherwise none of those switches you made are going to make any difference and the rest of it should all just be the same as how you had it set Anyways, that's basically all I got here for you today. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Someone will answer them. Me, someone else who knows, actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, please do leave a like. And if you guys would like to support the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We are almost at 200 since I last checked. I haven't checked in a couple days, but I think we're close to 200. We'll probably be over that by the time we upload this video here. But that's all I got for you for this one here. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a moveset modding tutorial, so look forward to it. It'll be fun. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.